for sure. Yeah, so like now in the like in Australia, especially like more in Sydney area as well, it's getting mm. better. But like they've brought this NBL one out, like youth league, like yeah. all of this stuff's happening. So a lot of people might be actually like on the fence about like Australian uh, or the US, you know, because they're like, oh well, yeah. I'll just stay home and like play NBL one. We didn't really have that opportunity before no. we left for college, but like. For you, do you think if you stayed in Australia, you would have like developed the way you did when you went to the US? Oh, no way. No? There's no way. Like I just, no, because there wouldn't have been any reason for me to change what I was doing Mm -hmm. before I left. Yep. So, um, and when I went over there, it kind of helped me find my identity a little bit more as a player. Yep. Um, It it let me figure out like what I was good at and what I wasn't good at Mm -hmm. and what I could be, like could be good at and what I couldn't be good at. Like, you know, just like doing the whole SWOT analysis, I guess yeah, you could say. Exactly, yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, like just doing that like over over there was, it helped me adapt. Like, cause you know, like diamonds don't like, they don't, like, they come cause of pressure. Yep. And if you, you don't, you're not gonna like adapt if you don't have anything pushing yep. you to get, be better. So going over there, like being out of my comfort zone, mm-hmm. um, just helped me for sure. Like it wouldn't have developed as a person either. Just, yeah. Like yeah, it's all, it, everything moves forward when yeah. you're over there. You, oh, you for sure. You become your own person. You learn how to do things on your own. You learn how to do school. You learn how to mm. like put everything together at once. Like, people think yeah. it's all sunshine and rainbows. And, yeah. oh, I get to play basketball. But like you have to slot your schooling, your homework, your basketball, your lifting, your shooting, your extra work, yep. plus eating, like you said, plus getting the right amount of sleep. Oh, yeah. It never happens. Nah, no, <laughs> yeah. Like, it's like it, everything yeah. is like pushing on itself. Yep. Yeah, you got to like, you just got to... It's just, yeah. it's adapting, man. It's yep. that's the thing. Every day is just like a like. All right, I gotta do a little bit more here, a little less there. Yeah. almost. That's literally what it was. What advice would you have for people that you know are chasing the college dream, the AAU dream? Like, what would you say to them, like advice wise? If you're serious, take it seriously. You know, yeah. like if um that that's my advice is just like you know there's information out there to like figure out how to get over there. I mean, uh-huh. you know, obviously AUSA is a great like yeah like bridge to do that (laughs) um but yeah like just like look up what the divisions are look up how the play style is um what the rules differences are because there's rule changes from Mm -hmm. here over to over there yep and just yeah like be serious about it so like do your research and figure out how how you can get that done just break it down into little steps and then you'll you'll get there exactly and do good in school Oh, you don't have to do great oh, in school. Oh, no, yeah. No, yeah, just do decent at school. You, just do good. And do, yeah, just do decent. Like, Try your hardest at school, yeah. but don't be terrible at school. Because yeah. if you're terrible, you're not going to college. No. You need to be eligible, yeah. right? So that's, yeah. that's one of the funny things. I no, it, like, I forget about that. But like, yeah. that's like something people just like yeah. didn't Doing the eligibility about. center. What? Man, damn, mess. Oh, that oh, thing mess. was a joke. I was like... I was pulling out my hair out for that stuff. Even, and I was like, I, I was a decent yeah. student. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it was pretty, it was actually pretty smooth for me. Yeah. But even then it was a headache. But I couldn't imagine for someone who was like, if no. it was, yeah, no. Nah. No, when you're on the edge. Oh, yeah. you're on the edge. Yeah. Oh, no. It's no like a fence, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no way. Oh, that would be it. Oh, <laughs> nah. Well, thank you for coming in, bro. Oh, we uh, we really appreciate you. Everyone's going to love, you know, your journey and everything about it. Um, AUSA OG is what's going to be written out as because that's it you were there yeah we're in the trenches oh for sure I've been looking I've been looking for some photos from Shaw but I can't find any that that I've got like a few there's like one I've got yeah Uh, yeah I'll send it to you yeah you have to send it I'll put it right in the thumbnail alright yeah (laughs) alright thank you brother thank you everyone for watching have a good one